In this video, I'm going to be using STools to hide this message, this findme.txt. Uh, also, one thing I've done before I started this is I went to folder options and unchecked the option to hide known extension types uh, because I really want to see that this is a .txt and this is a .bmp. Uh, but what we're going to do is open STools. I'm running this on a virtual machine with very limited resources so it'll be a little bit slow here but that'll give you some opportunity to to really be able to see what's going on so I'm going to take my file my rushmore.bmp I can see some dimensions I can see the size 798 kilobytes so let's drag this over here so now we have our file in here and we have our find me a text file. Let's see if we can open this up and see what's in here before we uh, hide it inside this picture. Use this to hide in here. Oh, let's see. Drop that in there. So hiding 100 bytes. So um, I'm using the textbook for the digital forensics course. It's Guide to Computer Forensics and Investigation fourth edition so it wants us to use the password the passphrase freedom all caps f r e e d let's try it again f r e e d o m need to verify that f r e e d o m and let's see we will go with we'll keep the, the encryption algorithm it looks like you have a couple different choices here we'll just go ahead and keep it with this we'll hit OK and we'll wait for this OK and now what we want to do is we want to we have our one with hidden data and we're going to right click and save this and we'll call this one let's put it back on our desktop here first come on no go to desktop and we'll say this is stag.bmp save that so we have our new file over here Okay. All right, and then our next next project that we're going to work on, we can go ahead and close these two. Is we're going to take our picture, our picture of the mission. Nice little picture here. Again, bitmap file, and let's see if we can get some data. So this one is considerably larger. The dimensions are 1280 by 960, and it's 3.51 megabyte megabits megabytes uh, in size. I like to work with it, not maximize for some reason. All right. So what we're going to do here is we're going to take another file and drag into here. One second, while I'll grab that file. Okay, so I've got my file. So I want to take this file. I'm not sure what I have installed on this virtual machine to be able to read this or not. Okay, so I have a pretty large file here. Looks like um, what is this? Is this the Declaration of Independence? Yeah, looks like it. Yeah. Uh, so pretty large file. But what we want to do is just drag it, drop it in here. Just like before, uh, the password we're going to go with this time is hop, H O P 10 5. And then confirm that H O P 10 5. Okay, we'll hit OK. And now we want to look at our hidden one. 
right click save as we're on our desktop so that's good so we'll call this one mission stag bmp okay we'll just do that save see it saves over here It didn't save as a bitmap file, so let's uh, redo that real quick. So let's delete this. Come on. Right click, save as. Mission stag dot DMP. Try that again. Looks like it's saving, and there we go. Alright, so let's close S Tools. So we've used S Tools for everything that we need. So now we need to open Command Prompt, do that, and uh, this is where you'll need to change to your directory. So I'm just here under Users Jam Yerby, and I'm in the desktop, so I'll just do CD for Change Directory. Desktop, uh, come here. Hold on. Desktop shouldn't be case sensitive uh, we're in windows let's try that to verify it if you're in linux it will be case sensitive but in the windows world it's not uh, so let's see so we switched to our drive and now we're going to do a compare so this is a, a built-in function so we're going to compare mission.bmp to the mission dash stag dot bmp and then we'll output that to results or uh, I believe your textbook gives you something else a uh, mission compare dot txt so let's do that compare more files I'm going to say no, not right now, I'm good. So it does that, and look, I've got a results file down here. So I can open this, and from here I can see some discrepancies between the two. So I can see that um, file 1 starts at 1E, file 2 starts at 1F, uh, file 18081. So we can see that there are 10 different mismatches and what I want you to do at this point is tell me what do these 10 mismatches mean and if you were doing an investigation what would you do with this type of information and what would be the next step for you once you've you found this information uh, maybe you don't have you didn't do the parts where we created these two files uh, but maybe you see this original file and you see this one with a much less obvious name uh, but you wanted to compare these two because if we're just looking at them visually they look the same but when you do the uh, comparing uh, you can see that there are some differences so that's it hopefully that gets you through everything with 10.4 and 10.5 well 10.4 have a great day